So, good morning. So I'm very happy to meet all of you again in Dubai. Now Dubai is almost like my second hometown because I always transit through this city. Okay, actually our body, the blood, you know, our blood and the, and the sea water, okay, there's, there are many similarities, you know. Okay, the sea water also, the pH is slightly alkaline. Actually the ancient sea, you know, are more alkaline. So the pH of the body are 7.2. Slightly Alkaline. The food we are eating must be more alkaline than acidic food, then your body will be healthy. So, so the main problem is that the body are not doing well. The body are not doing well because they are taking the wrong food. Demand the food. Okay, okay. So what should we do now? What should we do now? This is a big problem, you know. So if you do not handle the food problem, you will not handle the health problem. More than that, you will not handle the emotional problem. Now that people are having emotional problem. And this problem can be solved very easily if they take alkaline food. If they take alkaline food. Okay? What is the most alkaline food in the world? I give you one choice. Huh? I give you a few choice. Gadolma, spirulina, uh, maybe uh, we say cordycep or maybe we say uh, vinegar. Which are the most alkaline food? Spirulina? Okay, I give you a choice. Spirulina and geronoma. Which one is more alkaline? Spirulina? <laughs> no, 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 no. Geronoma. Because geronoma contains more than 300 alkaloid, alkaloid or alkaline. Okay? You, you, you see spirulina and, and, and uh, what do you call and spirulina. Uh, mushroom and, and this uh, uh, genonoma and spirulina. What is the main difference between the two? Okay, mushroom, okay, genonoma, it is a mini phyto factory. Okay, it is a mini factory to produce a lot of this uh, what they call this uh, phyto uh, element. Okay, like this, uh, they, they're like a mini factory to produce a lot of this alkaline, alkaloid, you know. Okay, this uh, this uh, thing. So we do, do not take genonoma as food, you know. It is a, it is a, it is a alkaline to, to, to balance alkaline. But spirulina is different, no? Spirulina is complete in the amino acid, okay? Spirulina is complete even in the sugar, the polysaccharide, you know, this, uh, this thing. Then this, uh, spirulina also, uh, 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 having a lot of this, uh, a new chain, okay? Like, like beta carotene, uh, what do you call, omega-3, even have omega-6, no? Or omega-6, uh, this thing. That's why, if you, if you just take genonoma alone, no? You can, you can survive. You can survive because it's a, it's, it's a perfect food. But when you come to alkalinity, you have to come to genonoma. Genonoma have more alkaline than, than this, uh, uh, what you call spirina, but spirina have more nutrient than genonoma. Okay, oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. So nowadays, the accent we combine the two. Perfect. A perfect match. This uh, thing. So the food is complete, the alkaline is complete. Okay, so the most potent is is uh, genonoma. Genonoma is the most uh, alkaline food. The next will be spirina. But you talk about nutrient, first is spirina, next is genonoma. So these two, they have the advantage, they have the strong point, okay? So we combine these two together, okay? Genonoma and spirina.